हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल बी सीइंग ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइंस के वी विल बी सीइंग ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइंस के सो before moving to the transformation of intersecting line let us see the equation of line so now how to find the equation of line this equation of line will we will be required in the transformation of intersecting line so we should know what is equation of line so how to find the equation of line how to find the equation of line so to found the equation of line there are many different ways to find equation of line so now first we will be seeing the equation of line so the first equation of line is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 so to fi find the equation of line we had consider this y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 where m is the m is the slope of line m is the slope of line so now m will be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so this is the equation of slope m so if line have two points then we identify slope of line as m y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 now consider this as line having x1 y1 and x2 y2 so we will find the slope of this line by m is equal to y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 okay now let's take one example suppose let's say this points as a and b so a have coordinates x1 y1 whereas b have coordinates x2 y2 now take a b with this line coordinates we will find the slope of line okay so the coordinate suppose x1 y1 is 0 1 2 and 3 this means it is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 okay so to find the equation of line first we need to find slope of line that is to find the equation of line we need to find slope of line so slope of line is calculated by m so as we all know m is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so to calculate to, uh, m uh, sorry slope that is we will be getting y2 is 3 whereas y1 is 1 see here y2 is 3 y1 is 1 whereas x2 is 2 and x, x1 is 0 so m will be 3 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 0 that is 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 so 1 is now the slope of line so the equation of line ab will be the equation of line ab is y my y2 minus y1 that is we will consider only the original line that is ab so y minus y1 is equal to m 
x minus x1. So this is the equation of line AB. That is, now let's put the value of y1 and x1. So y minus 1, 1 is the value of y1 is equal to slope we have got 1 and then x minus x1. So x1 in our case is 0. So that means y minus 1 is equal to x. That is we got y is equal to x plus 1. We got this equation y is equal to x plus 1. Now this y is equal to x plus 1 we have got. So this plus 1 is the y intercept. Plus 1 is the y intercept. So now what is x intercept and y intercept? So let's see what is x intercept and y intercept. Suppose I have one graph, this is x coordinate, this is y coordinate, it has some points 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, okay. So now suppose there is one line, this is one line and now here in this case x intercept is the point where the line crosses x axis that means 6 is the x intercept okay the line crossing x axis that is 6 so this is the x intercept and the line crossing y axis is called as y intercept let me show you x intercept is the point where the line crosses x axis. So this is the x intercept. x intercept is the point where line crosses x axis. So here in this case the x intercept will be 6. Okay. So 6 is the x intercept. Similarly y intercept is the point where the line crosses y axis so that is y intercept in this case is 4 so we have got x intercept as 6 and y intercept as 4 ok so there are so many ways to find the equation of lines so there are multiple ways to find the equation of line. We could say there are multiple methods through which we can identify a line. So first method is slope intercept that is y is equal to mx plus b. Now B in this case is Y intercept. Second way is point method that is point slope method where Y is equal to Y1, Y minus Y1 is equal to M X minus X1. We had already seen this in the previous uh, example. So y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 where x1 and y1 x1 and y1 are the starting point of the line. Then we have standard form that is ax plus by is equal to c. So this is the standard form. Then next method is using both the intercept that is by using two intercepts x divided by a plus y divided by b is equal to 1. This By this method also we can calculate 
the equation of line where a and b are x and y intercept so these are the methods by which we can calculate the equation of line we had already seen with the equation of point slope method okay so now let's move with transformation of intersecting lines let's move ahead with transformation of intersecting lines we had already seen how to calculate the slope and how to calculate the equation of line so now let us consider a pair of intersecting lines let us consider the pair of intersecting lines so y is equal to m1 x plus b1 this is the equation of first line this is the equation of first line and y is equal to m2 x plus b2 this is the equation of second line okay now we have this two equation where m1 and m2 are slopes and b1 b2 are y intercept we had already seen what is y intercept so line which crosses the y axis we call it as a y intercept so here in this case we have two equations of line where m1 and m2 are slopes and b1 and b2 are y intercept now let's calculate b1 and b2 from this above equation so let's consider this first equation so b1 we will get minus m1 x plus y and b2 we will get minus m2 x plus y so this we get b1 and b2 from the above equation from this equation we calculated b1 and from the second equation we calculated b b2 so this we got b1 and b2 okay so now this equation we will write it into a matrix form so let's write the above equation into a matrix form now let's write the above equation in matrix form okay so let's write this above equation in matrix form this equation we will be writing it into a matrix form so in the matrix form it will be x and y that are the original points and the transformation points will be minus m1 consider these points Minus m two one and one, okay, is equal to b one and b two. Now let's see, say this matrix x and y as capital X. This matrix as M. This is indicating the slope matrix. This indicating the slope matrix. And let's say this as capital B. now i will call this equation as 1 okay see what we have did we have took two equations of line first is y is equal to m1 x plus b1 second is y is equal to m2 x plus b2 from that we calculated b1 and b2 then we have written this equation into a matrix form okay and then we only substituted this value with x m and b where x is the in x indicating the slope matrix so now if a solution solution to this pair of equation exist then the lines are intersecting remember this is very important if a solution to this pair of equation exist then the lines are intersect so we have to prove that they are intersect and if solution is not existing then they are parallel 
if we do not get any solution for this equation then we will say they are parallel okay so if a solution to this pair of equation exist then lines are intersecting okay like if the solution exists then lines are intersecting and if not exist then they are parallel so now what we have to do we have to prove that they are intersect so solution to this can be obtained by matrix inversion so now let's see the matrix inversion so let's consider this as xi is equal to we have intersecting points x and y we will say this as xi and yi and whereas b and m inverse okay so we had seen seen that the solution if solution to this pair of equation exists then they are intersecting so solution can be obtained by using matrix inversion now suppose i have two intersecting lines suppose i have two intersecting lines so this point will be xi and yi okay so this point of intersecting will be xi and yi so this xi and yi is a is the intersecting point and this is the m inverse we are seen that we will be considering the so uh, matrix inversion so now let's see to calculate the matrix inversion so now let's calculate matrix inversion let's calculate matrix inversion okay that means matrix inverse we have to calculate so first we will be taking adjoint method so with the help of adjoint method we will calculate so we will take adjoint method now suppose we have a is equal to 1 3 2 and 4 that means it is equal to a b c d okay so first we need to find determinant of matrix a so to find Uh, first we need to find determinant of matrix a okay first we need to find determinant of matrix a so how we will calculate determinant of matrix a yes a into d minus b into c so in our case a into d will be 4 and b into c will be 6 so 4 minus 6 is 2 now we have got sorry 4 minus 6 will be minus 2 so now we have got the determinant of matrix a that is minus 2 so remember determinant should not be 0 because we cannot divide by 0 so the determinant matrix should be other than 0 now next we have to find identity uh, identify adjoint of a so we need to find adjoint of a now we will find adjoint of a that is a we have to find the adjoint we will change the signs of diagonal values we will make them negative that means we have 1 then 3 it will become minus 3 then minus 2 and then 4 now we will simply cross change the values that will be 4 minus 3 minus 2 and 1 
what we have did we had find the determinant of a first so determinant of a is calculated with a into d minus b into c so putting the values we got the answer 4 minus 6 that is minus 2 so we got determinant matrix of a as minus 2 now we will be finding the adjoint of a so first we will interchange diagonal points and make minus a and minus b okay so here we had took the same a matrix and what we had did we had make minus uh, we had interchange the values and then made minus a and minus b okay so that means what we have did is first we interchange diagonal points then make minus a and minus b so to find the adjoint first we have to interchange diagonal points and then make it minus a and minus b so now a inverse will be so now a inverse will be 1 upon determinant of a into adjoint of a that means 1 upon determinant we have got minus 2 into adjoint that is 4 minus 3 minus 2 and 1 now we will calculate this we will get minus 2 plus 1 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 so that is the inverse of matrix A ok so this is the inverse of matrix A so now in our case M is given ok we had already calculated M see here we in our case we have already calculated this M that is we have calculated the slope ok so we have to find M inverse that means now in our case M is given ok so what is M we have we have M as my M uh, sorry m is equal to minus m1 1 minus m2 and 1 see here in the previous equation that is first equation we had already seen that we have calculated the m this is our matrix for m that is minus m1 minus m2 1 and 1 ok the same we had taken here now we have to find m inverse we have to find m inverse so now how we will find the m inverse so first we have to find the determinant of a so same step we have whatever we have did same we have to do it for this m ok so now we have to find the determinant of m so to find the determinant of m So first we need to find determinant of M. So determinant of M will be, we had already seen to find the determinant of M that is A D minus B C. So in our case it will be minus M1 plus M2 that is it will be m2 minus m1 so we had calculated the determinant we had already seen to calculate the determinant here see here we had seen that to calculate determinant of a it is the formula a into d minus b into c after calculating the determinant we need to find the adjoint of a so adjoint of A is calculated as first we need to interchange diagonal points then make minus A and minus B. 
so this is how we will calculate the adjoint so now here we had find the determinant of matrix a okay so we had found the determinant of matrix a now we will find the adjoint of m so now to find adjoint of m that is m we have 1 minus 1 m2 minus m1 so this we find the adjoint by interchanging the interchanging the diagonal values and making a and b as minus a and minus b so we are, we had find this adjoint by interchanging the values and making my a and b as minus a and minus b so now we had find this adjoint of m we had find all determinant of m and adjoint of m now let's in, uh, interchange the diagonals so now let's interchange the diagonals uh, sorry after interchanging the diagonals we had got this answer now let's calculate the m inverse so m inverse will be calculated as 1 upon determinant of m into adjoint of m okay so m inverse will be calculated as 1 upon determinant of m into adjoint of m so now we had already got the determinant see here we had already got the determinant as m2 minus m1 so this is the determinant m2 minus m1 so i will write here 1 upon m2 minus m1 and the adjacent adjoint of m that is 1 minus 1 m2 and m1 so now i have got this matrix so I have, after calculation of this matrix we uh, i need to find the inverse of matrix m so this is the uh, m inverse now i will calculate this with the matrix i will make this multiplication so after multiplication the answer will be m inverse is equal to 1 upon m2 minus m1 i am just multiplying this with this okay so determinant with adjoint of matrix so i have got 1 upon m2 minus m1 m2 is uh, m2 divided by m2 minus m1 then minus 1 divided by m2 minus m1 and minus m1 divided by m2 minus m1 so i have got this m inverse so i will name this as 3 that is third equation okay so i have got this m inverse see how we had calculated the m inverse first we have taken this m then we have to find the m inverse so for to uh, for this m inverse first we will need to find determinant of m so we have calculated the determinant of m that is m2 minus m1 then we need to calculate adjoint of n so adjoint of m we have calculated as this that is by interchanging diagonal points and making a and b as minus a and minus b then we have the formula for m inverse that is 1 upon determinant of a into adjoint of m okay so then we calculate m inverse and we got this matrix of m inverse so now if you see we have the formula that is see here we have the formula we have already seen xi is equal to xi yi is equal to b into m inverse so this is the formula we had already seen now we will just put the values into that formula so we will get xi and yi xi and yi as 
b1 minus b2 divided by m2 minus m1 and b1 m2 minus b2 m1 divided by m2 minus m1 we will call this equation as 4 okay what we had did we had just calculated the values of xi and yi we already know that we had calculated xi by this formula. See here, xi is equal to xi, xi yi. So, I have shown here, this is the intersecting points. We will be calling it as an xi yi. So, the formula will be b into m inverse. Now, we had already got m inverse and just we had calculated it, it with b1 and b2. So, we got this equation. So, now using y intercept, and slope of the line uh, that is the slope of two line we can identify intersection of two lines so the intersection of original lines so this is the intersection of original line okay so this is the intersection of original line so using my intercept and slope of two lines we can identify intersecting of two lines so now uh, this is remember this is the intersecting of original line this is the intersection of original line now we calculate intersect of transform lines now we have to calculate intersecting of transformed line okay we have to calculate intersecting of transform line so transformation of two lines using transformation matrix now we have transformation matrix as a b c and d okay so transformation of two lines we have to see using transformation matrix t is equal to a b c d then we have to found equation of transform lines so we have already seen the equation of line so the equation equation of transformed lines are so the, let's consider a new equation of transformed lines so the transformed lines will be y star so the equation of transformed lines will be y star is equal to m1 star x plus b1 star and y star is equal to m2 star x plus b2 star okay so we are seeing the transformation of intersecting lines so that is intersection of transform lines we will be considering this as this two as an equation of line okay so now using the equation of slope that is now using the equation of slope now using the equation of slope we already know slope equation let's say my star is equal to b plus dmi upon a plus cmi we have already seen this equation that this is the slope of line where i will be going to okay we will say say this equation as fifth equation okay so slope of transform line is this this is the slope of transform line okay so now the intersecting of transform lines will be so now the intersect the intersection of transformed line will be xi star is equal to xi star yi star that will be b star and m inverse star okay so this is the equation of intersection of transform line line now 
let's substitute the values here so there will be b1 star b2 star okay see this here see, we are solving this equation this matrix okay and we have this m inverse as 1 upon m2 star minus m1 star then m2 star upon m2 star minus m1 star then minus 1 upon m2 star minus m1 star then minus m1 m2 star minus m1 star we had already calculated this m inverse only we are putting m star here okay so by multiplying this we will get b1 star minus b2 star upon m2 star minus m1 star and b1 star m2 star minus b2 star m1 star divided by m2 star minus m1 star so we have got this equation so using this we are going to put the values of equation 5 and 6 okay so we are now going to put the values using equation 5 and 6 so this is our fifth equation see here this is our fifth equation okay and this is our sixth equation So now we will move ahead. So now we will move ahead. Okay. See here, this is our fifth equation. Okay, this is our fifth equation. So now, if I want to calculate m1 and m2, my answers will be suppose I want to calculate m1 and m2. Okay, so to calculate m1 and m2, consider this equation. Okay, and from this, I want to calculate m1 and m2. Now, my m1 will, will be say suppose by considering this equation okay equation number 5 my m1 star will be b plus d m1 upon a plus c m1 whereas my m2 star will be b plus d m2 upon a plus cm2 so this is my m1 star and m2 star now i will call this equation as sixth equation so now by considering this fifth equation and sixth equation that means we are going to put the values using fifth equation and sixth equation into our equation the intersecting of transform lines is equal to I am not going to write the entire calculation so the intersecting of transform lines will be xi star is equal to xi star yi star is equal to it will be a b1 minus b2 we are just putting the values of equation fifth and equation sixth plus c b1 m2 minus 
सो वी गॉट दिस इक्वेशन ऑफ एक्स आई स्टार इज इक्वल टू एक्स आई स्टार इन टू वाई आर स्टार सो वी गॉट दिस इक्वेशन ओके सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन सो दिस आर द इंटरसेक्टिंग ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्म लाइन ना ट्रांसफॉर्म ट्रांसफॉर्म इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ ओरिजिनल लाइन यूजिंग द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैट्रिक्स ए बी सी डी सो लेट्स कंसिडर दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैट्रिक्स एज ए बी सी डी सो वी हैव द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैट्रिक्स दैट इज एक्स आई वाई आई इन टू ए बी सी डी सो नाउ पुट द वैल्यूज सी द इक्वेशन नंबर फोर वी हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट एक्स आई वाई आई इन इक्वेशन नंबर फोर ओके सो सी हियर दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन नंबर फोर वेयर वी हैव गॉट एक्स आई वाई आई सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ एक्स आई वाई आई वी विल बी पुटिंग दैट इन टू दिस एक्स आई एंड वाई आई सो पुटिंग दैट इन टू दी एक्स एंड आई एंड वाई आई ओके सी द इक्वेशन नंबर फोर एंड पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स आई एंड वाई आई वी विल गेट we will get b1 minus b2 divided by m2 minus m1 b1 m2 minus b2 m1 divided by m2 minus m1 into the transformation matrix that is a b c and d now calculate these two matrix we will get a b1 minus b2 plus c b1 m2 minus b2 m1 divided by m2 minus m1 and b b1 minus b2 plus d b1 m2 minus b2 m1 divided by m2 minus m1 so we have got this equation so this is the transformation of original line this is the transformation of original line now this is the transformation of original line and see here this is the transformation of intersecting line that is th these are the intersection of transform lines so if you see that both are identical see both are identical see this box and this box okay so both boxes are identical to each other the equation both these equations are identical to each other so we will name this equation as 7 and this equation as 8 so if you see seventh equation and eighth equation that they are identical so equation 7 and equation 8 are identical to each other that means the lines are intersected to each other we have got the solution for the intersecting lines now consider one example let's see by taking the example so suppose let's take one example we have a as minus 1 and 1 b as 3 and 5 by 3 uh, there are two lines suppose inter suppose this is our intersecting lines one is ab and other is ef okay so a has these points b has these points e has minus 1 by 2 and 3 by 2 whereas f has 3 and 2 okay so these are the lines now the equation of line ab will be equation of line ab so the equation of line ab is y minus y1 is equal to slope x minus x1 so this is the equation of line so we need to find the slope m so slope m will be y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 okay this is the slope of m this is the slope okay now we need to put the values that is y2 we have 5 by 3 y1 we have 1 then 3 plus 1 
we got the answer as 8 by 3 that means 4 so we have got m as 4 okay then we have got the slope m sorry sorry wait a minute 8 by 3 divided by 4 so 8 by 3 divided by 4 will be 8 by 3 divided by 4 that is 8 by 3 into 1 by 4 we will get the answer as 2 by 3 so we have m as 2 by 3 so this is our slope m is equal to 2 by 3 so this is our slope now put these values into the equation that is y plus 1 is equal to 2 by 3 x plus 1 okay so y plus 1 will be multiply this 2 by 3 x plus 2 by 3 so we will get equation of line as minus 2 by 3 x plus y is equal to minus 1 by 3 so this we got the equation of line a b okay now calculate equation of e f now calculate equation of e f so to calculate equation of e f we get y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 so let's take m2 for second line okay let's take m2 for second line so m2 a bit i will write so let's take m2 for second line so m2 will be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that is minus 2 minus 3 by 2 divided by 3 plus 1 by 2 then now we will get the answer as minus 1 so we have got m2 as minus 1 ok so we will put that m2 into the equation of line that is y minus 3 by 2 is equal to minus 1 x plus 1 by 2 so we will get x plus y is equal to 1 and this is the equation of this is the equation of line EF okay so this is the equation of line EF now represent the pair of line in matrix form now represent the pair of line in matrix form now let's represent this pair of line in matrix form so how we will write the, this equation into a matrix form let's take this x and y right we are writing it into a matrix form okay so it will be minus 1 by 3 and 1 that is equal to b1 and b2 okay now x and i and y i is b into m inverse so we need to calculate matrix for inverse so now we what we need to calculate m inverse we need to calculate so now let's calculate this m inverse so m inverse formula we had already seen the formula for m inverse as 1 upon m2 minus m1 m2 upon m2 minus m1 minus 1 upon m2 minus m1 and minus m1 upon m2 minus m1 so this is our m inverse formula so put the values of m1 m2 we had already got m1 m2 now put the values of m1 m2 into this so we will get 1 upon minus 1 minus 2 by 3 minus 1 upon minus 1 minus 2 by 3 minus 1 upon minus 1 minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 upon minus 1 minus 2 by 3 so this is we got m inverse now the actual answer will be 1 upon minus 5 by 3 i am just calculating this minus 1 upon minus 5 by 3 
माइनस वन अपॉन माइनस फाइव बाय थ्री माइनस टू बाय थ्री अपॉन माइनस फाइव बाय थ्री ओके सो आई हैव गॉट द एम इनवर्स एस माइनस थ्री बाय फाइव थ्री बाय फाइव थ्री बाय फाइव एंड टू बाय फाइव सो आई गॉट दिस एम इनवर्स ओके सो आई गॉट दिस एम इनवर्स सो नाउ कैलक्युलेट एम इनवर्स ओके दैट मीन्स यूजिंग दिस एम इनवर्स कैलक्युलेट इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ लाइन ए बी एंड ई एफ ओके सो यूजिंग दिस एम इनवर्स वी विल बी कैलक्युलेटिंग इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ लाइन ए बी एंड ई एफ सो वी हैव वॉट इज द फॉर्म्यूला वी हैड ऑलरेडी नो द फॉर्म्यूला एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू एक्स आई वाई आई इज इक्वल टू बी इन टू एम इनवर्स सो वी हैड नो दिस फॉर्म्यूला वी हैड ऑलरेडी सीन दिस फॉर्म्यूला सो जस्ट पुट द वैल्यूज दैट मीन्स बी वन बी टू इन टू एम इनवर्स सो नाव वी हैव बी वन बी टू एज माइनस वन बाय थ्री एंड वन वेर एज एम इनवर्स वी गॉट माइनस थ्री बाय फाइव थ्री बाय फाइव टू बाय फाइव सो दिस वी हैव गॉट दी एम इनवर्स सो मल्टीप्लाय दिस टू मैट्रिक्स वी गेट फोर बाय फाइव इंटू वन बाय फाइव सो दिस इज द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ ओरिजिनल लाइन ओके सो आफ्टर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट टी ओके सो नाव आफ्टर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट टी सो आफ्टर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट एक्स आई स्टार वाई आई स्टार विल बी एक्स आई वाई आई इंटू टी सो दैट मीन्स वी हैव गॉट एक्स आई वाई आई यर दिस इज अवर एक्स आई वाई आई सो वी हैव गॉट दिस एक्स आई वाई आई सो वी विल टेक दिस एक्स आई वाई आई एंड अवर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैट्रिक्स एज वन वन टू माइनस थ्री ओके सो नाव वी विल मल्टीप्लाय दिस टू वी विल गेट द आंसर वन एंड वन Now consider the transformation of A, B, and E, F. It means now consider transformation of A, B, and E, F. So we have the same transformation matrix. That is, T is equal to one, one, two, minus three. So now. we will calculate it for ab so a b and the transformation matrix t will be minus 1 3 minus 1 5 by 3 and transformation matrix 1 1 2 minus 3 so now multiply this to we will get minus 2 14 by 3 1 and 1 so these are our new points that is a star and b star okay now same do it for second line that is e and f so e f into transformation matrix t so point e f into transformation matrix t will be minus 1 by 2 3 3 by 2 minus 2 and One one two minus three. So this is our transformation matrix. Calculate this. We will get one one minus eleven by two and twelve. So this is our now e star and f star. So intersection of point uh, of this new transform lines a star and b star and e star and f star is one and one. That means the intersection point of this new line new transform line a 
a star b star and a star f star will is 1 and 1 so when we generate transformation of intersection intersecting line it generate another pair of intersecting line okay so suppose here we have the intersecting lines these are our intersecting lines then we have transferred it by one so this is here one two three four okay similarly one two three four this is our y axis and this is our x axis now the transformation is is have taken place at one one so somewhere here our transformation will be that is one is one so here will our new transformation okay so here will be our new transformation so this is how the uh, transformation of intersecting line is i hope you have understand this tutorial thank you